news now, and with symptoms ranging from hives to anaphylactic shock, peanut allergies have gotten a deadly reputation. Yeah, while doctors haven't been able to nail down what causes it yet, they are making some pretty good progress in treating it. News 8 health reporter Justin Momenta has more on a trial underway in Connecticut. Sonia and Darren, this study focuses on people with peanut allergies, and I found out that it is offered only at the New England Food Allergy Treatment Center. <laughs> Peanut-free schools, a safety measure for students diagnosed with a peanut allergy. Now there's an experimental treatment that could improve a patient's quality of life. <laughs> 12-year-old Jack Zelikson has lived with a severe peanut allergy for most of his life. I would do anything to be able to live just a little bit more liberated life. Life is improving since signing up for the peanut desensitization program here at the New England Food Allergy Treatment Center in West Hartford. It is an oral immunotherapy with patients getting increased doses of a peanut protein. What we do is we initially give them a very, very tiny amounts of peanut protein uh, by mouth, uh, the equivalent of one one thousandth of a peanut. And we increase the dose over the course. It's going well, you know. Um, I'm only having reactions to the peanut flour very, very not often. Um, what kind of reactions? Um, sometimes my stomach will get a little upset or I have like a weird feeling in my throat. The dose is taken daily and patients are monitored closely. But medical director Dr. Jeffrey Factor emphasizes this is not a cure for people like Jack. I'm hopeful uh, that we can uh, fully desensitize him so that if he's accidentally exposed to peanut, um, he won't experience any or much of a reaction. So far, the results overall are promising. The study uses protocols tested safe and effective, and the center is looking for more people to take part, patients older than five years old. For more information, call 860-986-6099 or log on to our website, WTNH.com.